What's up guys, it's Charles Yamabe here with another Essential Tips and Tricks. Now this one is going to come in handy if you live anywhere cold like I do. I live in Chicago and it's that time of year when things are starting to get really cold. That sucks, but it's kind of awesome because it also means it's hoodie season. Um, now personally I tend to wash my hoodies by hand because I want to kind of keep them nice and not let them fade and get all ripped up as easy. However, I do understand at times you're going to want to take your hoodie and throw it in the washer. What happens when you throw the hoodie in the washer? Well, the string can come out of the hoodie. Um, this is actually coming from a friend of mine on Facebook because he had a string come out of his hoodie and he couldn't figure out how to get the hoodie string back in. And I started reading through the comments and people were saying like use a, a needle or a safety pin to thread the string back to the hoodie. But why would you do that? That's going to take hours and hours and hours. I have a much simpler way, much easier way, and I'm going to show you right now. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, number one, let's take this hoodie and do the unthinkable and pull the string out of the hoodie. So now you have a hoodie and you have no string, but what do you do? Very simple solution for you, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. Coat hanger. Everyone has one of these, and if you don't, you can go to a laundromat or a dry cleaner and just steal one. No, don't steal, that's bad. But you can buy them for like 10 cents or 25 cents or something from your local laundromat cleaner or whatever, blah, blah, blah or a friend might have one. But anyway, back to the hanger. You take this hanger and you're going to undo it. The hangers are great because you can use them for all kinds of different things, but for this purpose we're going to do this. Take it, straighten it out, like so. And here's the thing, we're not going to need this entire hanger, so if you have tin snips, clippers, something, whatever, you can take it and just snip it off and break it. Now let's assume you don't have tools, okay, like, oh dude, I don't have any tools, what can I do? It's easy. This is a thin metal, so it's gonna break nice and easy. So what we're gonna do is straighten this out as much as possible, and then we're gonna take it and just bend it and break it, right? Just go ahead and just like this. If you don't have any tools, you can just bend it, right? It's the part you kinda of look like a chicken and you flap your wings, but it'll snap right off. So if you don't have any tools, not a big deal. Next thing you're gonna need, some tape. Um, I tend tend to use scotch tape or some kind of very thin tape because you need to get through the hole on the hoodie. So quite frankly, you want the thinnest tape possible. Something that's going to stick, but it's going to be thin enough to get through the hole, right? So let's do that. Now, what we're going to do is take your tape, take your string, take your metal piece. You're going to take this, and you're going to butt the pieces up end to end like this, okay? That's going to make it thin enough to get through the hole, easy enough to thread through. Take your tape, which hopefully you have ready to go, which I do not, sorry. I don't even know where it is in this. It's the worst of these tapes. Like, you can't find the end of it. It's a pain in the ass, right? Whatever, here we go. Alright, so you take your crappy tape that doesn't want to come undone. Like so. Uh, there we go. I need this extra shit. There we go. So you take your tape, which I just messed up again. There we go. Okay, take your tape, and you're going to piece maybe that length, right? Now, this is much easier to do with putting it on a table or on, on your hand, but I'm going to try to hold it up um, so you guys can see what I'm doing. So basically, here's the thing too. So this, this tape is going to attach much easier to the string than it is to the metal part. So you want to put more of the tape on the metal part and less on the string. That way you can get it to hold really nice and well, right? So then you're going to butt it up like so. If I can get it, oops, help I put it on the sticky side. Butt it up, butt it up like so, like that. Take this and fold it over. You don't fold it all, all the way because you want to try to take some of this extra sticky part that's left over and wrap it around here like this and get it as nice and tight as possible. A little extra bit should stick just enough and then you're going to get twisted around here like this. So when you're done with this, you should have a nice little whip kind of thing. Like, I love my hoodies and like, I hate when this happens, but it does happen occasionally because I'm a huge hoodie guy. Um, so now you should have this little whip thing like this, right? Next step, pretty simple. We're gonna take this and without the string on it, poke it right on through. Gently thread it through your hoodie because you don't want to jam a hole through your hoodie because then you'll cry and that would suck and I, I, I would cry. I don't want to mess with my hoodies. There we go. This is really easy. I mean, you just keep threading it through, threading it through, threading it through, right? 
And this is going to take a lot less time than using a safety pin or a pin or like wasting your day like trying to put a string back in. It's stupid. I don't get it. I don't know why you would do that. So anyway, and we're almost through. There we go. Right there. Through the hole. Right? Take this. Start sliding it down. You can let gravity do its thing too and just let it slide down, but either way, it doesn't really matter. Here's, here's the critical part, because you want to make sure you get this this tape through, because if it falls off in the middle, you're going to start over from the beginning, and that sucks. And we don't want to do that. So gently, gently thread it through, like so. Hope you can catch all that. And you slide this down a little bit on this end, like that. Slide this through. Hopefully that's all holding still. Um, okay. Then all you're going to do is just pull this through like this. Oh, magic. This is the part where like you're doing it live and you're like, oh my god, I hope this works because if it doesn't, I'm look really stupid. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, come on. This whole time I'm just kind of threading it down, threading it down. Almost at the end. Okay, I've seen the tape. Let's, please be, let's hope it's still there. Please be there. And there it is. All right. There's your hoodie string. Now this part comes right off super easy like that. Pull it back through. And that, my friends, is how you re-thread your hoodie if the string comes out. Super easy, quick tip. Um, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, Charles underscore Yamabe underscore. If you have questions or you have a tip or a trick that you want to tell me about or that you need help with, let me know at charlesyamabe at gmail.com. And I'll put all of this at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And I will have more videos for you soon. Um, I have another really cool one coming up here in about a day or two I'm going to post out. And don't worry for you, if you that are asking about the dreadlock questions. I have more dread questions coming. But I just have all this information. I feel like I should tell people, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, but more dread information is coming uh, shortly, so don't worry about that. But more tips and tricks coming as well. So, All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.